What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another long-awaited episode of Let It Ride. Co-host, Brandon. And I'm Cam. Thanks for uh, waiting for us. Thank yep. you for waiting. <laughs> it's been a, a rough, difficult... I, I couldn't tell you when the last time we posted or the last time I've been excited about anything monetary in my life. But... Yeah. Yeah, been- no, it's... A battle. It's very, it's very tough in every single sector you go to. It's not just the NFT world, although it is definitely slowed down. Um, pick any market you want, any crypto you want. There's, there's nothing really good happening in the financial world right now, other than having cash under your mattress back in the 1930s. That, that's what's good right now. <laughs> We're getting mopped, but I mean, Absolutely today was a good day. Today uh, was a good day, at least for three, crypto. I don't know. We had three, what three percent in the market. Something really, three like, percent? I think so. Something like that. Really? Okay. Um, it's so funny. I check my coin market cap before I check my Ameritrade now. That's how <laughs> sick I am. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. It is. It is a tough, tough time. I mean, personally, I haven't done much investing other than dropping, just putting money into my, you know, accounts, not necessarily buying anything. I, I did open up a. A little bear position into the S and P five hundred bear ETF. Oh yeah, you sent in a meme so about that. Okay, I did. I yeah. did. I did buy in for about I don't know five percent of my portfolio or something to hedge a little bit. Wow, that is a pretty decent hedge. And it's a it's a triple levered. Okay. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Never really done that before, but I yeah, think that's now's as good a time as any to to test the waters. Absolutely. No, you've been at least doing something more than I have. I've just been head down, paying off my, my loans, my student yeah. loans can actually confirm that I'm 30 days away from, from student loan, the, the clutches of student loan debt. So that is a monster, monster achievement. Everybody say congrats to Cam in the comments. Woo. Thank you. 33K. See you later. So <laughs> So that is a good sign. Do I wish I had 33K just thrown to owe me? Is it, can they just send me 33K back in advance? I don't know. But hey, you never know. I could get a free 10K check good. By, by midterms. But that's another discussion. But yeah, so I haven't really bought into anything. I really want to buy into Bitcoin slash Ethereum. Like when Ethereum was below 1,000, I just was looking at myself like, how could I not buy this? And it's at 1136 right now, which is you know up over 10 percent from when it was below a thousand so yeah i went in i went in for a bit around 900 did you you got some in uh, in the low nines yep scooped up uh some down there moved honestly some from i had a bunch sitting in uh i used gusd and gemini gathering like 6.9 percent interest just chilling in with cash usd or gemini usd but not financial advice, mm-hmm. but because we did have a lot of freaky little, you know, Celsius crapped out, right? Celsius did. Yeah, I guess. I mean, again, it's subject to be fixed, right? But at least as of right now, a lot of people who had any crypto or any USD just sitting in Celsius just don't have it anymore. It's yeah, just gone. There's no, there's no right now plan mitigation, anything to get that money back. So as of right oh, now, no. it's gone, gone. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, liquidation it's crisis, perhaps. I mean, there's yeah, rumors of rumors of Coinbase going bankrupt, filing for bankruptcy. Really? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's been bloodbath. Binance had one of their transactions got stalled. Someone dropped a bunch of Bitcoin and lost it in the ether. And like, oh, see, I mean, you know. I guess I guess that is one move I made. I did move about a hundred and twenty thousand OMI off of Bitforex into my trust wallet, lost 15,000 OMI in the process, which kind of hurt, but. I mean, long run, you got to have it in that trust wallet, I think. Yeah, it, 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 I hated to do it, but just, I mean, after I saw Celsius kind of go up in flames, I was like, all right, like that could easily happen a bit Forex. I mean, it seems like the financial world we're in is only probably going to get worse yeah, in I mean, the short term future. So didn't want to run the risk. Thing is, I don't know how like financially backed Celsius is. I know I don't know either. Especially Relative like Bitforex, Coinbase is Coinbase is big. Bitforex, I don't really know much about. 
Neither do I, which is why I just said, let me get it off. I know Binance is the largest exchange ever. So, I mean, right. you got money on Binance, I'm sure that's fine. But they did have that withdrawal problem. Um, they say they're working on it. But, I mean, if you bought last week any kind of crypto, you're doing pretty well today, I'd say. Yeah, within the past week, probably. OMI was down to point oh oh. Oh nine. No. Yes. Sub point oh oh one. Wow. We added that a zero in Omi, which was heartbreaking to see. That is quite disgusting, I must say. We've never we had never been that low in our Omi journey dating back to April 2021. Yep. So about 14 oh. months and we had never seen that low. So so that but hurt to see. It. Yeah, you didn't see it. I did see it. Uh, and it hurt me not to buy more when I saw that. It's currently sitting at 001186. So unreal. Yeah, it, it took an absolute beating. But slowly but surely, we uh, there are some big kind of VVOMI updates that could maybe alleviate some pressure on OMI. Who knows? Um, I don't even think Coin Market Cap has the updated OMI price in it. Do we get we we get so low that we boot it off? No, dude. I'm sure you're looking at the Go Chain OMI on Coin Market Cap. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Wow. OMI dropped down monstrously. Yeah. We are now ranked 4529 on cryptos in terms of market cap. We were at like 210. We were at, I think the lowest we saw was like 216. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. I mean, it was at 0.008. So you do that math in terms of how much it dropped, but that's over 90%. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. But so that's definitely discouraging, but we've been pretty much this low um, pretty much a year ago. Yeah. Pretty much yeah. a year ago, we were at 0.0113, or no, 0.0013. It's kind of annoying how B, bit Forex, I'm sorry, uh, coin market cap is completely backed up after a year. Like, we don't have any data past. Yeah, no, it's really annoying that you can only see the ERC-20 OMI right. up in, like, whenever that start date was a couple months ago versus, and you can't see any of the go chain on me anymore. That's just gone on coin market cap. I'm sure you can see it in other exchanges and stuff, but not on this one, which is, or not exchanges, but any crypto tracker. Tough to see. Yeah, so that definitely sucks. And I guess to kind of kind of just close out, I guess is our, you know, current state of the market chat and like our let it ride state of the union address. It's blood in the water. On the way down, I think, I don't think we've bottomed out just yet. No. I, I feel like we're going to see a bottom within early 2023 is my, my target for a bottom. Bitcoin below 10K? Uh, I don't think so. No? Okay. I don't think so. I don't think it can. I could see Ethereum. Back. How low? I mean, people are, the big thing with Ethereum is that they're changing over um, from proof of stake let me say it's proof of stake to proof of something. Um, I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff going with crypto. And I know Ethereum is trying to make some kind of upgrade. I'm not a huge into crypto. All I know Bitcoin, ETH, and OMI right now. So <laughs> but we have a lot to look forward to. I guess in terms of crypto, this is a great buying opportunity for the next oh, unbelievable buying 18 opportunity. months. Stop. Compared to the last year, I got into crypto just about a year ago, and At the I mean, peak. I was I had nightmares, yeah, of prices this low, and like they were yeah, nightmares yeah. back then. But now it's an opportunity, you know. So as as corny and cheesy as that sounds, don't uh don't lose sleep over it. But if you had money invested in, I mean, I feel like if you're still confident keep going in for it if you yeah i mean unless you, you need the money for an emergency or something you right. need to be liquid not that's financial, advice, not financial advice not financial advice sure but that's the way at least we're approaching it right i mean unless something really really comes up especially us at a young age where there's no real right we have no reason to sell and take a loss 
yeah. just, just by the age 22 and 23. So it's going to run it out. Get into cash, stockpile, do whatever you can, get extra, take an extra job or something, get just load up on cash and slowly, 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 I'd say dollar cost average across like S and P some, some crypto S and P Bitcoin ETH dollar cost average over the course of the next six to 18 months. And I guarantee you, probably five to five years, you're not going to regret what You'll you Thank did. yourself. You will thank yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, I feel like that's a good closing point here for our little state of the market update again. Yeah, every, everything's bad short terms, but or it will get better eventually. That's thank the state you of the tuning in again to Let It Ride. I'm your co-host, Brandon. And I'm Cam. Like, subscribe, follow the journey. And pray. <laughs> Later.